Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start your day, whatever time it may be. If you guys were unaware, Treyarch actually buffed the Spitfire. They made it so you can recover off the sprint a lot faster. And we're going to be abusing this weapon to its full potential in today's video. If you guys in the comment section need a nuked out make sure you guys go ahead and comment down below your psn or xbox gamer tags i'm thinking about hooking a couple of you guys up because a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy the nuked out guide videos and may need some extra assistance now here's the class that i was running with the spitfire i was running it with extended mags fast mags as well as fmj an absolute melt machine of a class setup and i think you guys will definitely enjoy it and be able to rip it up in gameplay if you check it out for yourself if you guys did enjoy today Today's video because it is a clutch nuked out make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on the video it is greatly appreciated without further ado let's get right into the gameplay man free for all. Right, this is what we can do in free for all boys we're gonna be playing firing range y'all know how we like to rock on firing range the, the best rotations exactly how to maneuver the map now obviously you know with the new how meta on black ops 4 you kind of have to be very quick in free for all. Um, the rampart is the rampart is uh, like you guys can see here. The rampart is definitely a big factor in in free for all. A lot of players are running it because everybody knows the rampart's like one of the best guns in the game. So you kind of have to go ahead and you have to play free for all a little bit different now. Um, either A, you can camp with the Rampart yourself, or B, you have to use a submachine gun and be incredibly kind of like aggressive, but in the way where you can kind of outstrafe the Rampart and hope that they do not get like a high cal one or two headshot on you, which is why I like to maneuver this back area here and literally just run a circle. This is the best spot to do this on firing range, especially because the Rampart is so strong they nerfed it a couple they nerfed it but at the same time it's still incredibly good and it is this is currently the best way on how to stay alive and kind of counter people running and then there's a guy behind me with it uh i think he's gonna chase right, we got him i'm gonna save my counter wav oh he's on a heady with the rampart nope See, when things happen like that, where you're just at a, a disadvantage, just run away. There's no shame in it at all. So if you know you just cannot win the gunfight, just run away. That's going to be something huge in free-for-all where a lot of you guys need to understand. Like, if you cannot win the gunfight, simply just run away. Now, this is where Heat Wave comes in handy. Now, I hit him. Tagged him up a bit. We're gonna go over here and get this guy. Or not. He's gonna get away. All good. I hear some barricades heating up. Got him. I'm just gonna call my sniper's nest in now. Got him. So this is the best spot to maneuver on firing range. Got him. I'm actually going to pick up his KN. Because he has a suppressor on it. It'll be a good backup weapon. Got him. Like I said, just rotate this. Rotate this back area. The best spot to kind of patrol. There we go. Have to bait him. Go over this way. Augur DMR now in here. Alright, so since we now have the purifier, we can kind of make some different type of plays. Where we could be slightly more aggressive. 
but at the same time, you don't want to get overly aggressive. Or we can just kind of rotate this like back spawn. Got him. And then we can kind of hit back here. Got him. And we can check over here. There's nobody spawned up. And then we're going to go back over here. Jump the corner to check. Jump this corner to check. Drop the counter. And we're going to peek back over here. That guy with the barricade is kind of disrupting the map flow pretty greatly. But I kind of don't want to go in that room. I kind of want to go in there and hit them with the heat wave, but... Ooh. Well, honestly, I think it's too risky. Get him. Come back over here, get him. Check back over here. Get him. And we're going to check back over on this area. Get him. We're on the Brutal. Check back. Get him. Call the counter in. Jump check. Nobody. Somebody could be potentially coming down. Get him. There's a mesh mine in this middle area, which is why I don't really want to go over there right now. Check that back over there, over there. Nobody. Check over here. Check the jump. Jump it. Nobody. UAV circling. Now we might have to be a little bit more aggressive if nobody does pop up, but like you kind of don't want to like rush yourself in free for all. It's something you do not want to do. Get him. Enemy UAV above. Here. him run back over here one off take the time and finish off the game strong that's literally how you get a nuked out you just gotta just take your time um we kind of clutched that up man like the guy at 29 i got 30 but you know that's like the best way to get a nuked out man just take your time and you know you don't really got to worry about the time man don't worry about you know if it's a slow nuked out if it's a fast nuked out because the nuked out to nuked out and at the end of the day man you know it's all about getting that call on car like i literally took my time i literally went down to the time limit and you know you just want to just kind of just focus up and just not worry about you know what's going on in the game as far as what other people are doing just kind of focus on getting gunfights into gunfights winning gunfights and uh, obviously putting yourself at the best you know advantage like i did in that gameplay because i don't think i ever dropped below like 100 health the entire game which is actually pretty you know kind of you know impressive in my opinion to do with free for all so i hope you guys do enjoy if you guys did make sure you guys drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one deuces all right let's see what we can do with the spitfire man like i can't believe they actually buffed it like uh, I, I thought this would be like the one SMG that they would leave alone. But the funny thing is, like, this is what I don't understand, man. 
they buffed the Spitfire, but they didn't touch the GKS, which is incredibly, like, weird to me. Because what they did was they made it so, like, all the SMG... They made it so, like, all the... Wait, what the hell? Oh, shoot. What they did was... My, so my teammate didn't kill him up there. What they did was they made it so all the SMGs, like, have faster, kind of like... Or I should say, well, yeah, technically faster, you know, raise times off the hip. But they didn't do it to the GKS, which is weird. Um, I guess they really don't want that gun to be, you know, as, you know, as good as it should be, in my opinion. Kind of strange, but, you know, <laughs> they buffed the Spitfire. We're gonna abuse the Spitfire, so. Literally, just abuse the Spitfire now. There we go, just center. Man. Oh, they camping. Boosting the health. There we go. Got a sniper's nest. Call it in. We have to go around the back on these. I bet you they're still sitting in here camping. Oh my god, they are. <laughs> wow. Those these guys have like no idea what they're doing. Uh oh. Ooh, they're all over here. No. It. it I can't, I can't shoot when I'm stunned? I can't shoot when I'm stunned. What kind of garbage nonsense is that? Oh my goodness. Whatever. We got a strike team. There's only four of them anyway. Wow, I can't believe... Why can't you shoot when you're stunned? Alright, got him. Another one's over here. Got him. I don't know, man. I've always just been noticing that there's been so many people just running around with melee weapons as of recent. It's kind of ridiculous on this game. <laughs> what are these guys doing, man? They're just camping. Alright, we got the extra health again. Alright, they flipped out. Teammate got a sniper's nest. So they're gonna be just racing for kills. Oh boy. Yeah, they're over here. My dude just meleeed my sn- oh, What? Oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. I'm trying to hip fire that. All right, strike team, where you at? Need you to get, need you to get big on the map. There you go. Oh shoot! Oh nice, took it out. This guy's sniper's nest is going crazy, bro. We're gonna be neck and neck with kills. Got him. Alright, they're just kind of like waiting around the corner for me, so we're about to do the same to them. There we go. Oh, they spawned behind us. There we go, strike team. Pick up. Looks like they spawned behind us again. Shoot. Oh, teammate got big with that. Yo, let's go, teammate. That's, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's teamwork. You about to get clobbered by a kid with a melee weapon, and then boom. Holy cow, look at this. Gee. 
It's like the weirdest lobby, one of the weirdest lobbies I've been in low key because these dudes are just playing so weird. All right, got another crash boost. Oh shoot. All right, strike team, take care of that. You guys are just camping, dude. Nice distraction. I don't know how much assist points he got off of that, but that was probably crazy for him. Oh, I think they're spawning back behind us again. Oh, teammate got him. Ha! Money bagged his ass back. Got those both. Definitely some more guys coming. It's like one of the few times where my teammate is like, my teammates are like actually like pretty solid. And they like are actually getting streaks. So it's kind of nice when this happens. Alright, we got my sniper's nest again. But the game is like practically over. So it's a GG in the chat. Got him, and then we're probably going to wrap the kill up for here. There we go. So, like, a 48 kill. Not bad. Teammate went 37-1. and one. Like, not bad, bro. Overall, man, we had a good, good little game there. Teammate was popping off, too, so that's what's up.